Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am going to go through my lip products. I have way too many lip products. Majority of them I don't even use. I really only use a couple. <laughs> um, so I wanna go through them all. I'm gonna do some swatches on some of them. Some I just know I'm gonna get rid of right away. Um, but I will do a couple swatches so you guys can see. And the ones I'm unsure of, obviously I'll swatch them. But let's just go ahead and get right into this and see what we got. So we're gonna start with the Liquid Cat Suit. Hopefully the lighting's okay on this and the ring light won't um, cause it to be uh, irritated. Um, this is in Coral Corruption. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one is this one because it's a little too corally for what I like. I like more of a pinky. Um, I think it's got too much of an orange undertone, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Um, one I'm definitely gonna keep is the Catrice Liquid Boosting. Um, lip booster the volumizing one this is so good if you guys can get your hands on this i highly highly recommend it it's a, a nice minty feel but it doesn't have uh it doesn't it's not super tingly is what i'm trying to say um it's really really good so i'm definitely keeping that one i'm gonna get rid of the coco crisp uh flavored lip balm i don't use it this one is a cmos original lip balm it's um one that I haven't used yet. I do have two of these, that's why this one's still sealed. The other one I have used and I really like them, so I'm gonna keep those. The Makeup Revolution, you will see a video on this. I am decluttering this one. I'm gonna keep it just because I like the, the packaging, but I won't be using it. It's just not a good lip gloss, but I wanna keep it on my vanity just because I love the, the packaging, because I love Harley Quinn. So um, I'm decluttering it as I won't use it anymore, but I'm gonna keep it because I like the packaging. So uh, that's a keeper. Uh, the gloss from Jeffree Star, this is the only Jeffree Star gloss that I have left. And the only reason is, is I couldn't get rid of this one. I really, really like it. I got rid of all his other products that I had. Um, I don't support him um, as a person. And so I refuse to support his brand as well. Um, but this is the gloss that I just, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is in the color Candy Drip. Um, so I know I need to get rid of it. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. Let's see if I can find one that's kind of similar to it. Then maybe I'll get rid of that one. I have this banana um, lip balm from Tony Moly. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't like it. It's very thick in texture. And I just don't, like you can see on the side, I just don't care for the texture. So I'm definitely gonna get rid of this one. Um, let me that one. I have the Fenty uh, in Fussy, this is one of their uh, gloss bombs. I absolutely love this, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Another one of my favorites is the ColourPop Lip Oil. This is the Lux Lip Oil in Hey, and this was in my favorites for this month. This lip oil is so good, you guys. I've got to get more of these. Um, I didn't. I've never tried them before that. And then I got the Ultra Glossy Lip from ColourPop. This is an Always Sunny. I got this in the mystery box. I really like it, so I'm going to keep that. Um, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Chocolate Flavored Lip Gloss. I'm gonna declutter this. This is just something that I would, did for a video. If you want to check out that video, it does have a free giveaway in it. If you want to um, watch that video and do it, I have no entries as of yet, and it ends on Thursday, which would be the end of the month. So if you wanna check it out, there is this. I'm gonna declutter that. Um, and then I got this one from The Balm. It's Meet Matte Hues. And this is a really, really pretty. Oh, I'm too sorry. Look at me knocking, knocking my light over. This is a really, really pretty color. But it's very old, so I'm going to declutter it. But isn't that gorgeous? But as you can tell, I mean, it's, it's old. So that's definitely going to be decluttered. Um, I have this one. I've never used it. Uh, Red of the Day from Tony Moly. This came in a mystery bag that I got from them. I've never used it. When does it expire? In 03. Oh, looks like it's already expired. But I think I'm just going to declutter it. Yeah, because it's just not something I'm going to use. So I'm going to get declutter that. Um, I'm going to keep my Morphe and Speak Out just because it's a lip gloss and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And that's pretty much what I wear nowadays is lip glosses. I have these from Lorac and this is in CEO and these ones are so pretty. I've had these forever. I keep waiting for them to smell bad, but they don't. They're so pretty though. Let me show you the, and they're so creamy. They're just gorgeous. 
I bought the whole collection. I did declutter quite a few over the years, but they're so pretty and they still are good. So I'm gonna hold on to those. Um, I got the Juvia's Place lip gloss in Yummy Yummy. This one's really, really pretty. So I'm keeping that one. And then these are the ones, the Profusion. I also did a video on these if you wanna check it out. I did the whole collection. This is the um, Cashmere Tinted Lip Balm from Profusion. This is their Beverly Hills, and it looks very orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it. I mean, it's really pretty. It's just not a color that I'm gonna find myself reaching for. And I have two others, so I don't need three. And then I have this 1000% Lippy Stick from ColourPop. Let's go ahead and swatch this. I think I'm gonna declutter that. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter this one as well. That's it right there. It's really pretty. Oops, sorry. I gotta remember what the camera's at. It's just not a color that I'm gonna reach for, and I know I won't reach for it because it's too, a little dark. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the Maybelline Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint. I didn't really care for this very much. I mean, it's pretty, and uh, nothing wrong with the formula. It's just not something that I reach for, so I'm going to um, go ahead and get rid of that. This is my Buxom. I don't even know what flavor this is. This is really, really old, so I have got to declutter, declutter this. This is probably, this is really old. So it's definitely have it definitely has to go. So we're gonna declutter that. Um, I got a Huda strobe, a uh, lip strobe in snobby. It's super pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I love lip glosses. Those are my things. I have this in date night, the dose of colors liquid lip. It is so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, you can't even see it. It's right there. It's so pretty. I just love that color. It's just a beautiful blue hued red. Oh, just gorgeous. I'm definitely keeping that. Sorry for the noise. Um, here's another Buxom in Amy. I don't know if this is any good. Like I said, these are really, really old. I've had these forever. So I'm probably gonna declutter that one. Um, and I like the Buxom and this one is in Celeste. They're not my favorite formula, but they're good. Yeah, this one's got to go for sure. But it's a really pretty pinky. Not gorgeous. All right. I got this from the Glamatory. This came in a mystery box, and it's 04 Nude. And I think I'm decluttering this one as well. It's really pretty, though. Oops. This one right here. Isn't that gorgeous? See, like whenever I swatch them, I think, mm, maybe I should keep it because it's really pretty. But I think I remember trying this one and I didn't like the formula on my lips. This one I'm going to put in the maybe because I can't remember off the top of my head. So I might have to um, try it on in those the declutters. Okay. And then I have this Wet n Wild in Satin Sheets Liquid Cat Suit. Um, definitely going to declutter this one. It's just a shade I won't wear. That's it right there. So we're gonna get rid of that one. Let's see. And then here's another Glamatory one in Slay. I think this one was more of an, oh, uh, maybe not. Oh, that's pretty. That's like a deep berry red. Look at the difference in color. See how much brighter the Dose of Colors one is than that one. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm not gonna wear it. I know I'm not gonna wear it, so don't keep it if you're not gonna wear it. I got the Lime Crime and Diamond Crushers in Cleopatra, and um, I'm running out of room. I'm gonna keep this one because I think this would be really pretty for like Christmas, Thanksgiving. I just think that'd be a really gorgeous topper. So I'm gonna keep this one. Uh, another one of those Lorac lipsticks in Aphrodite. This is another beautiful color. Isn't that stunning? Hopefully you guys can see okay. It's super pretty. So I'm keeping that one for sure. And then we have another of the Profusion ones. This one I will keep. This is in Rodeo. I just think that's more my color. So we'll keep this one. The NARS Lippy. I'm definitely keeping this in Swing. I love NARS keep pulling them out of the screen. I love the NARS lipsticks, so I'm definitely gonna keep that one because I think it's gorgeous. 
Um, I have an O for a one. I am going to declutter this one. This is in Mocha. I didn't know what um, was going on with Ofra, and then I did some research and definitely not going to support a brand that um, has anything to do with racism or inequality. So I'm definitely going to be decluttering this as well um, because I don't stand by that at all. Um, I have this one, it's Profusion, and this is also, this one's really pretty as well, so I'm gonna keep that one just because it's like a really pretty light pink right there I think that's so pretty so I'm gonna keep that one let's see what else do we have we have a lip oil from LA colors I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one um, I have the sugarcane and papaya exfoliating herbal lip scrub I'm going to keep this because I absolutely love that stuff here's the other lip balm I was telling you about that I had the organic one these are so good I have in this in Capiche, this is a Color Poppy, Color Poppy, Color Pop Lippy Stick. And this is in Capiche, let's see. Mm, that one right there. Looks very dark on the camera. I think I'm gonna declutter this one. It's just one I'm not gonna reach for and I need to be, if I'm not gonna reach for it, I need to declutter it. And then I have this Ultra Matte Lip and needle and thread from ColourPop. It's just a little one. I'm gonna declutter this because I'm not gonna reach for it. I don't wear a lot of lipsticks. I like um, a lot uh, lip gloss. So, and then this is a lippy stick, ColourPop lippy stick in Carmella. Um, I tried this one in my ColourPop Get Ready With Me video. It is very, very light. Oops. A very light pink, you can see right here. Um, it is a little too light for what I like, but I'm gonna keep it because it looks really cute with a topper. And then I have this NYX Red Lippy, and this is in the color The Best, and it's really pretty. So I'm definitely gonna keep that one because it is a bullet lipstick, and I don't have a lot of those. And then we have this one from Bite Beauty, and this is in Chai. And Bite Beauty has one of my favorite, this one right here, favorite lip colors. Um, so I'm keeping that one. I actually believe I have two of them, I do. So here's the other one. I'm probably gonna get rid of this one because the packaging looks like it's all nasty. So we're gonna get rid of that one and we'll keep the one. We have the Wet n Wild Lip Gloss in Wild Shine. I'm gonna keep that. And then, oops, sorry. And then I have the clear one. I'm gonna keep that one as well. And then I have some colored rain lippies, lip glosses. I'm going to get rid of the blue one because I know it's just not a color that I will wear. So I'm going to declutter that one. And then I'm going to keep these two because I just think they're really pretty. And this one's not as purpley as you'd think. It's more of a gloss. So it's more of a sheer color, if I remember correctly. Yeah, see, it's more of a, I mean, it's got purple in it, but it's more of like a, not as like you would expect, you know. So there is that. And then these are all just lippy sticks. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the Aloha Coconut one as well. I have this lip liner from Melissa Michelle. Oh, this was the Ulta Beauty Matte Lip Liner. God, I've had that forever. That needs to go in the garbage. Um, I have a Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Bare to Comment. I'm gonna keep that one because it's a nice nude. I have this one in a red. Intense Stay Auto Liner from LA Colors. I'm gonna keep that one. Um, gel Lip Liner from Wet n Wild. This is in Gone Burgundy. I'll keep that one. I have a Sephora one. Nothing But Nude. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. I have an Urban Decay in Blackmail. I'm gonna keep that one. And then I have a ColourPop in Good and Plenty. So I will keep that one as well. So I think I did pretty good. So let's count up how many I kept and how many I got rid of. I kept two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. So I'm happy with that. And I got rid of two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. I'm gonna get rid of the Glamatory 22 and I'm gonna get rid of the Jeffree Star.
23. So I did pretty good. I did about half. So that's exciting. I'm super excited about that. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of the Jeffree Star because I have some other ones that I think are just as beautiful. I have the Morphe, even though it's not pink. I have that one. I also have this one I can use. I even have this beautiful one as well that's probably a lot like it. So I just have so many other ones that I need to use. I have this one that I've been using majority of the time. So I need to get rid of things brands that I'm not going to support. I'm try also trying to go cruelty free as well. So I've been really adamant on what I'm purchasing and really watching what I'm purchasing um, because I do not stand behind testing with animals. So that's just something I want to throw out there. And that's pretty much it. So I am super excited. I'm super proud. So now they'll fit my drawer perfectly. So now I will be able to have just what I know I can actually use and not have all this excess just sitting there. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. If you like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be going through my palettes next. I have some palettes that are really, really old. I need to get rid of them. Um, so if you want to hang out for that, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.